you are kind of pressured to date with inside your race, but understand your culture too. I'm sorry, if you're going to have black kids, you need to learn how to do our hair. Because I've been with a white guy, he said some very crazy stuff, and then I just kind of had a. <laughs> she had kids with like a black man. Yeah, her hair is so hard to brush, like it's so annoying. Society just has its own beauty standards that are honestly really messed up. I know you know those white men that have a little bit of swag, like. And would you ever date a white girl? Or have you dated a white girl? Woo! Bro, I don't think that's it for it. That's a yes. What's up, YouTube fam? Listen, today I got the gems for you guys. Today I'm going to give you guys the pros and the cons of interracial dating, along with how to get your arms more toned. Let's get straight into it. Do you think interracial dating can be difficult? Uh, it depends. Like I said, like it really just depends on like if that other person. I mean, also you as an individual, like you have to also like understand where they're also coming from. But like both sides need to be understanding each other to make it work type thing, and also be open to like hearing other people's experiences, um, and also like specifically like their culture. If I were to date a white guy, because I've been with a white guy, and he said some very crazy stuff, and then I just kind of had a, I, I had to let it. <laughs> What they say, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's just like having to. I don't mind having. So you to, you dated a white guy. Before. Yeah, I have. I don't think I'd go back to that unless the person was like, oh, very woke. I don't know. Like I know you know those white men that have a little bit of swag. Like. So what are things that women need to be prepared for if they're dating a black guy and they have a they have a child with him? I'm sorry, if you're going to have black kids, you need to learn how to do our hair because I've seen like a white woman who's had like biracial kids and she had kids with like a black man and then talking about how oh like in front of the like the little girl too talking about some yeah her hair is so hard to brush like it's so annoying like to have to deal with and I'm like you're talking about her like right here like with her right next to you and like that's really damaging for that child like it took me till I was like in college to even love my curls like I always wanted to straighten my hair I always wanted to like or like just wish I had like looser curl like I think you need to like understand that your child is going to experience things that you've never experienced and like don't invalidate their experience when it comes to those type of things like your kids are going to get have racism racism towards them like microaggressions and like if a lot of like non-black people like when we even talk about like our issues they're like oh that's not a thing but it's like it's not a thing to you because you don't experience it do you feel like most women are encouraged to date within their race i feel like it really depends on who you're surrounded by to be honest i feel like sometimes like you are kind of pressured to date with inside your race but also a lot of it is just finding someone who actually respects you like no matter what they look like too but i think on top of respects it also has to do with like someone taking the time like if it is someone outside of like your race or like outside of your culture like if they took the time to like understand your culture too i feel like that's definitely important all right you guys we're going to finish up our question in the gym as we focus on toning our arms let's get straight into it are you trying to you trying to step you trying to step on all these plans be destructive what you mean i'm respectful I'm a respectful baddie. What you mean? <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, love is love. So, love who loves you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I do feel bad for like other black women I know that are dating white men and then their family comes at them for dating white men or their friends also come at them for dating white men. But my thing is like, if that white man is treating you like right and well, like, I don't really see the harm in it as long as he's like also being understanding to you and your culture. You know what I mean? But I love black love. <laughs> so I won't say that to you. Do you notice when a woman has pretty girl privilege or do you feel like you have pretty girl privilege sometimes? Um Cause I've seen it, so don't 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 get up on this camera and start lying. So go ahead. No, I feel like it's just Society just has its own beauty standards that are honestly really messed up and I feel like they definitely put certain people like on a certain pedestal and I definitely don't agree with that because I think everyone needs to be like comfortable within their own skin and not made to feel like they're judged in any type of way based off of how they do look. Like I've been there growing up too like having to adjust to certain things or like having certain mindset but I feel like you definitely can experience pretty privileged too 
And I just feel like that's really messed up. Cause I've seen like like videos of women who've like gone from like where they're overweight and then like they talk about their experience of weight loss and then like now they're like, yeah, well now I'm pretty. But it's like, I wish they had felt like they were pretty before that. You know what I mean? Like I, for me, like I feel like that really sucks. But then they're like, dang, like I really see how like y'all treat people differently. And like, I just feel like that's honestly, like it speaks volumes, you know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, I guess you're really, really. <laughs> What what's your take on interracial dating? And would you ever date a white girl? Or have you dated a white girl? Woo. Um, have I ever dated a white girl? I don't think that's important what I've done. Like this this isn't about That's me. a yes. That's a crazy. My mom's watching this, okay guys, so <laughs> what do, what do I think about interracial dating? Um I think, you know, definitely date who you who date who you can date. You know what I mean? Like if you if you don't have no swag, you know if you can't handle a girl with a little bit of flavor, you you know whatever the case may be, then then get what you can get. Not date unseasoned. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what you just said. <laughs> Honestly, real talk though, as I've gotten older, you know, I've been in situations where you know love it, it's hard to come by. So when you, if you find somebody you love and you guys rock with each other, you know definitely rock out because I've seen a lot of situations where it's been someone where you you do care for somebody, but there's so much outside influence messing things up. So I definitely recommend you know get it with who you love and who you want to be with. You trying to get your arms cut up? La ladies, as she's been struggling, so I'm like, we're going to take her through a workout to get her arms, to get her arms right, all right? Listen guys, you want to make sure you're locking at the top. We're getting those triceps right. Yes sir, that's it right there. So listen, those are all my tips. I hope that you appreciated Ash's response on the pros and cons for interracial dating, y'all. We locked in. Great content. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button. No content watch, performance. No we out. No watch, good timing, yeah. No watch, no diamonds. No watch, good timing, yeah. Need no middleman. I'm the man of man. Send it in. I like what I like. Me, I know my rights. It's sipping in. I like having fun. I do what I want. It's what it is. For my son and son. For my daughter.